Welcome to this video about creating tables with SQL on Hadoop. I'm Cynthia Sirocco from IBM. This video is part of a larger collection, and before watching it, you should be familiar with basic SQL and Hadoop's concepts, which I covered in earlier videos. Because each SQL on Hadoop implementation is a bit different, I'm going to be presenting table creation examples based on big SQL from IBM. I'm quite familiar with that technology, and you may find it easy to follow because one of its key design points is compliance with the ANSI ISO SQL standard. As background, Big SQL supports several common Hadoop storage mechanisms, including simple HDFS files, Hive, and HBase. Finally, the examples I'm going to share with you are drawn from free publicly available tutorials, and I'll give you a link to them when I wrap up. Let's look at a simple example of how to create a Big SQL table managed by Hive. As you can see, it's pretty easy to do if you already know SQL. Indeed, what's different from standard SQL is shown here in blue. First, the Hadoop keyword instructs Big SQL to distribute the table's data across the cluster. By default, the table's contents will be stored in a directory of the Hive warehouse. I've also included some clauses specifying how I want that data stored. In this case, as a text file in a delimited format with fields terminated by the pipe character. I've also included some column constraints in this example. These include a not null and a primary key specification. Such constraints are common in relational database environments, and although they're not actively enforced here, they can help influence query optimization and runtime performance. This example is nearly identical to the previous one, except that it specifies that my table's data will be stored and managed externally from the Hive warehouse. In this case, I want the data stored in the user Cindy sample dir directory on HDFS. Now that you've seen how to create SQL-based tables stored in the Hive warehouse and in arbitrary HDFS directories, let's turn to HBase. As a refresher, HBase is a key value storage manager for Hadoop. A table consists of one or more column families, each of which may contain one or more columns. These column families and their columns contain data associated with a row key, and HBase is quite efficient at accessing data by row key. As you can see, this data model is different from the traditional tables of a relational database. So let's see how SQL, a language developed for relational technology, can be applied to HBase. This example creates a big SQL table named Reviews that uses HBase for storage. The Reviews table contains seven relational columns that track information about product reviews and people who post these reviews. The column mapping clause midway through this example specifies how the SQL columns relate to the underlying HBase column families and their columns. Note that the HBase row key maps to the SQL review ID column. Other SQL columns map to specific columns within one of the three different column families of HBase. For example, the SQL product column is stored in the HBase product column within the summary column family. Well, that wraps up this short introduction to creating tables using SQL on Hadoop. As I promised earlier, here's a link to where you'll find big SQL tutorials that include the examples I've shown in this video. And if you're curious about other SQL on Hadoop options, just search online for those that interest you. Thanks for watching.